Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Fix video. This one we're talking about the NBA for Thursday, March 21st. And in the video, we have five picks for you guys to consider. So stay tuned throughout the video to see all five picks. But I'm just one capper in Dynamo. We have five plus cappers. Also, I give out more picks every single day in the private Discord. Yesterday, I also gave out this three pick slip that hit. And a three-pick slip over on Underdog that also hit. Really been enjoying Underdog. They have their own version of the Goblin and Demon that I think is actually kind of better than Prize Picks. So I've been using those a lot to get this one at a 7.5x. So this one hit 7.5x. This one I threw in one of our projections as well, which was Draymond Green over the points plus assist that hit 4 for 4. Other cappers also hitting over here. Boss man hitting a nice slip. Tons of wins over here in the private Discord. You could see Average Cheddar, one of the new members of the Discord, hitting a 4 for 4 on underdog. Blame the Flame hitting a ton of underdog slips. Cash God over here hitting a ton of slips over on DraftKings. So definitely check it out if you're not in there already. It's less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan. You get access to five plus cappers plus more of my picks. And you guys saw all the big hits in there from yesterday. So get over there, check it out. We also have college basketball picks posted as well. So let's get into this one. The first one I'm gonna go to is gonna be Kyrie Irving. We're gonna go to him over on the rebounds plus assists. And for this one, Against Utah, great matchup. Going to be a fast-paced, high-scoring game that's projected to be. Utah playing on a back-to-back, -back, but Lori Markman didn't play in their last game. He's expected to play in this one. Also, Jordan Clarkson didn't play the last game. Could play in this one as well. So I do think Utah can keep it close with those two guys, two of their best players, playing in this game. And Kyrie has been smashing this line as of late and hitting it pretty decently all year as well so let's look at this one over on outlier which is a great tool for player prop research which i use every single day and i highly recommend checking it out if you use the link down below you get a free trial for seven days for it so over here we can see that the rebounds plus assist for Kyrie over nine and a half has hit 53 percent of the time this year he's hit it in four straight games the assist have been carrying, but also seven rebounds last game, seven boards the game before. So the rebounds have had an uptick as well for Kyrie. In 2022, you could see this line, he hit 63% of the time. So actually a down year for him. I think he's starting to get that back here in his last four games. But we've seen also a lot of games this year, he hasn't played that many minutes in blowouts. You could see played less than 30 in these two games. And like four or five games straight here, he was under 30 minutes. So Kyrie is starting to get the minutes back up as well um, and hitting this one pretty consistently. So I really like this line to open up the video for the first pick over on the rebounds plus assist for Kyrie. And for the second one, we're going to go to DeMar DeRozan here over on his points. And we got to find the alternate here, 22 and a half. I don't know how I feel about the slider. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I kind of like seeing the straight points here instead of the demon on the board, but that's just me. And then being able to switch between the demon and goblin. But anyway, DeRozan over 22 and a half against Houston. Houston's been playing a lot better and they actually have a pretty tough defense, but still liking DeRozan in this one. He's been absolutely smashing, scoring the ball without Zach Levine. And as of late, he's just been crushing. So going to keep riding DeRozan here until they start upping this points amount. So 22 and a half. He's hit this over half of the times this year. But you can see all this green in like his last 20. His last 20, he's hit this in 15 of 20 games, 75% of the time on the season. Cool thing you could do on Outliers. Look at games that he's played without Zach Levine. Without Levine this year, he's hit this line 63% of the time. You can also look head-to-head. -head. He's hit this two of three times against Houston. But really just liking this line because he's been smashing it as of late. And I do think it's a little lower because he did have two down games here. But they blew out Washington. They beat him by 30 points in this one. And then they lost by 15 in a tough matchup against the Clippers. I think this is going to be a decent matchup for DeRozan, actually. It is a tougher defense. They are... 10th in the league, allowing 112.5 points per game. So Houston has been playing well 
Also, I do think it'll be a close game, though, where DeRozan has to play big minutes and can hit this one. So going to him for the second pick. For the third pick, we're going to come over to Odd Jam, which is a, another tool that has a free seven-day trial plus 25% off if you use the link down below if you want to continue after the trial. Basically, how it works is they take props from like prize picks, underdog, and show you the best value based on what other sports books have. So it's kind of like arbitrage betting, but you get the best value here. So Jadante Murray, rebounds plus assists, 13 and a half. You can see FanDuel has this one at 14 and a half. Also, all these other sites have it at minus 130 or better to hit. So basically, that's how this works. They give you the best chance to hit based on other sports books. So we're going to go to Murray on this one. Dejounte Murray, obviously without Trey Young, he's been hitting this one a lot more, which we can also look at for our odds jam pick of the day. If we just come back over to Outlier, we can look this one up and we could see that he probably hasn't hit this that much this season, but with Trey Young out, he's hitting it a lot. So 29% of the time this season, not looking great, but if we go to games without Trey Young, he's hit it in 59% of games or 10 of 17 games, got 15 in the last one. The assist has really been the uptick here, and we just have to hope he gets, you know, around his average, but he doesn't even need his average. If he gets 10 assists here, you know, four or five rebounds is all that he's going to need here. And his over under is at 10 and a half for assists. So really just needs like to come in around that assist number of 10 and then have four boards. So liking this one against Phoenix should be a fast paced high scoring game. Hopefully Atlanta can keep this one close. It's going to be the only thing, but even in blowouts, Murray has been seeing a good amount of minutes The last game, they did get blown out by 31, and he only saw 31 minutes. But all the games before that, 34 or more. Even games playing 43 minutes, 41 minutes, 40. He just saw 40 minutes or more in three straight games. I actually didn't know it was that insane of minutes. But even when they're losing by 31, he's still getting over 31 minutes here. But I don't think they're going to get blown out by 30 in this game. Could be like... 10 to 15 point game, then he should see at least mid 30s or more. So, like in Murray from that odds jam pick of the day, definitely check them out as well. For the next pick, we're going to go to Daniel Gafford over on the PRA. This is one that I've been playing a lot when he's been playing more now with the Dallas Mavericks. And this is one that he's consistently hit 19 and a half. PRA. I think it was actually lower last game, but still liking it at 19 and a half. I think we got it at 18 and a half in the last one, but we'll go to it at 19 and a half again. It's a line he's hit 58% of the time this year. Obviously, his minutes were down when he first came to Dallas at the trade deadline. But if we look at the minutes chart, he's averaging 24.7 minutes on the season. It's about what he's been getting the last four games, played just over 24 in the last two before that was near 26 minutes. So he did have some weird stuff in the last game I was watching where he got hurt and then came back. So I think he would have played like 26, 27 minutes if that didn't happen. But against Utah, fast paced game here. Hopefully Kyrie will get some assist to Gafford, which will help out that Kyrie line as well. But we can see earlier, you know, played six minutes, six minutes, 13 minutes with Dallas, but finally has been playing more in these last five, six games straight. So liking Gafford here. And then when he does play at least 23 minutes, let's give him, he's hit this line 76% of the time this year. So absolutely smash spot for Gafford. Great matchup. Just got to hope he gets that minutes of 23 or more. When he does, he smashes this one. All right, for the last one here, we're going to go to Zion over on the PRA of 33 and a half. This one was just at 34 and a half. And I was considering it to drop down to 33 and a half, liking it. Obviously, tough matchup. Orlando, you know, plays defense pretty well. And so does the Pelicans, though. So I think this is going to be a good matchup. Pelicans, I think, are one of the most underrated teams in the league. Zion's been playing out of his mind as of late. I just heard he dropped 25 pounds since the uh, All-Star game. So he's looked great in the last two, three weeks here. He's been smashing this one. 
I think he's going to continue to smash it in Orlando, even in a tougher spot here. Like in this line for him. If we look at him over here, they still have it at 34 and a half. We can take an alternate line here of 33 and a half and see he's hit this 54% of the season. He's hit this in six games straight though, which is definitely nice to see as well. You can see that Orlando defense is pretty stout, but the Pelicans have just been playing so well. I think that it will not really affect him. On the season, he's only playing under 31 minutes per game. But the last six games when he's been smashing this, 34, 36, 35 minutes, 35 minutes. So the minutes have been up as well. So I think we can at least give him 32 minutes in this game. And then he's hit this 83% of the time. So definitely liking Zion here in a tough matchup, but I think a spot where he's going to have to play a lot of minutes, and he's been crushing this one, so liking this pick as well for Zion. And these are just my picks for the video. I do give out more picks in the private Discord. You can see gave out this three-pick slip on prize picks and a three-pick on underdog. This was actually a 7.5x because it had the little spicy. That one hit the 7.5x, and then I also threw in one of our projections that we post every morning as well. With those three picks, that hit a four for four as well. But we have five plus other cappers. You could see Boss Man hit a nice slip yesterday in there. And tons of people hitting slips. You could see in the private Discord on Underdog and Prize Picks. So definitely get over there. Check it out. It's less than a dollar per day to access to five plus cappers plus more of my picks plus the projection. So get over there. We'll see you in the private Discord. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well.